Well, it's fat to fit, and I think it's time for the numbers. Are you ready for this? Yikes. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your BMI host. Hi BMI, I should say. So today, let's do the numbers. And if you wanna figure out your BMI, I'll have a link in the description to an easy calculator for you. So I think first off, we have to put up the weight number. All right, so that's even more than I thought. That's really kind of incredible. Uh, yikes, all right, so, but look, you got, if you're gonna go somewhere, you gotta know where you're starting from if you plan to get anywhere, right? So that's the number to start with. And of course, the one that is looked at a lot, the BMI number from my height of nine feet, six in, wait a minute, five foot 10, the BMI comes out to be this. What would a doctor at a physical say about that? Uh, so far, nothing. So that's good news. But a lot of companies, that would be too much. So we got to get that taken care of. That's the numbers here. And I wanted to get those out there because I'm going to be totally transparent on this. This weekend, I'll do some shopping and I'll get all that filmed up and we'll see how that goes. All right. I wanted to bust in and say, hey, you know, the government with their BMI numbers thinks the maximum I should weigh at 510 is about 167 pounds and really they want you to be less than that they'd say you know 131 or so to 167 don't worry about a number though don't try to get oh if i don't get to a certain number that's going to be a real problem don't worry about that the idea is just to start dropping some weight and uh, getting healthier moving around uh, getting healthier that's the idea not oh if i don't get to this uh, weight within three weeks you know that's not going to be good so that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm uh, just going to document my uh, stages of everything, and I will not. I'm not weighing in every week either. I don't think everybody should do that. But you just need to know where you're starting from so that you can know where you're going. So that's the story with that with that BMI chart. But uh, you know, you can look it up through the um, link in there and see where you stand, and uh, see what they think about it. If otherwise, back to your regularly scheduled programming already in progress I also said I would insert some pictures in a video these are from about nine years ago so you may want to avert your eyes so that you do not turn into a pillar of salt but uh, here's some before and after pictures of losing a close to 100 pounds you know over maybe uh, 10 months to a year span um, this is why I know I can do it okay so I did it before this is possible for everybody, not just me. I'm nobody special, certainly. So let's take a look at those pictures. Let's see if I can insert them uh, right about now. All right, that's the pictures. So because I've done this before, it does make it easier in the future to do. So uh, let's talk about what we're gonna do. Let's get started every day 30 minutes of some kind of activity walking is best and i even talked to my doctor and he said yeah look you can split that up unlike a 30 minute break right you can split this up into three 10 minute sections he said whatever it is just get moving get out there and get moving now i have uh the samsung fitness app or whatever was already on the phone because i guess it comes with them so that's what i'm going to use to count the steps and look it doesn't have to be exact I must get 10,000 steps or I'm going to be a bad person, whatever. That doesn't matter, all right? Whatever you use to count your steps and movement, use the same thing all the time because it will give you a relative amount. So let's say you do 2,000 steps this week. Next week, you do 2,500. You just do more. Oh, you're only competing with yourself. You're not competing with anybody else. It doesn't matter. Oh, somebody did 40,000 steps. It doesn't matter. Just do better than you did the last time. That's all. Uh, that's all anybody could ask of anyone, right, uh, for this or anything else. So use the same type of counter and continue to count movement, uh, exercise, anything that you're doing of a physical nature, right? If you're stopped somewhere, get out and walk around. You know, just walk around the truck a few times, right? It's 70 feet each way. Just start walking. Do a couple minutes here and there. 
just get out and walk, all right? So that's the story today. That's what we're talking about, the numbers, yikes. More to come. I don't know if they'll be regularly on Friday or whatever. They will come eventually. I don't want to do too many and overwhelm people with it, with the giganticness as it is. So thanks for watching. Be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next Trucking Answers.